How's it going, everybody? Machalo, and thank you for joining me for test number three, is Google always listening to target advertisements to you? In test number two, I used a far too specific product, um, and I don't wanna talk about it here because it'll mess up my, my search results, but this time I've come up with a much more broad cat product category that we're gonna be talking about, and if you can read my handwriting, you can read what's on screen right now. And just like in test number one and number two, we're going to go to fark.com. We're going to open up about 10 different websites. We're going to get a baseline for what advertisements are shown on those websites. Then we're going to close the browser. We're going to talk about what's on that piece of paper. We're going to go back to those same websites. And then we're going to see if any advertisements for the, that product that I have written on this piece of paper pop up. And if they do, well, that's very strong evidence that our microphones are always being tapped to target advertisements to us by either Google or Cortana or maybe some malicious adware or spyware. But let's go ahead and go to fark.com right now. Open up the... Uh, a bunch of these first websites that we see, Daily News and Vindi, Mail Online, and that one. Okay, and then we'll just go through these, and that one, why not, and see what advertisements are on there. So the first one is Snopes, okay? Did the Boy Scouts of America implement a new policy requiring condoms to be available at Jamboree? God, I hope not. Anyway, there's an advertisement for Showtime right here, and right here, LendingTree.com advertisement. Next website. Um, cabin Groove, Ryanair flight attendant wows passengers with Britney Spears toxic dance routine. That You get what you pay for. Literally at Ryanair, since we're talking about ads, there's advertisements on the back of each seat, I think. That's what I've heard anyway. I've never uh, flown on a Ryanair flight, but maybe somebody that has could tell us down in the comments. And I don't see any other ads. N next website. <clears throat> Next website shows a space for an ad, but it didn't load up, so I'm going to the next one already. And dailynews.com, advertisements for senior living in Albuquerque advertisements, sponsored link by Tabula. And I don't see any other ads here, so I hear some ads and stuff. But nothing like what's on that piece of paper, and that's the important part. Here we have Vindi job advertisement and Vindi homes. You can get yourself a job, then use the money to buy a home. Any other ads? Not that I see. Oh, here we go. New rule in Albuquerque. This is an ad. Report ad. I could do it right now, but that's not what I'm doing. I don't need to report ads. Dailymail.com says advertisement right here, but I don't see an ad. Here's a dead-eyed looking kid. I don't know who this is. Looks like a mugshot, but I don't trust this kid. I wouldn't trust him with my life. Look at those eyes. That is not a good kid. You can just tell. Toyota advertisement and then Captain Crunch advertisement. Perfect. Okay. New Beach Blast cereal. Ooh, and another advertisement for looks like a black guy on a cell phone. He looks like a nice chap. And then nothing else. Okay. And then we have on boingboing.com digital trends advertisement. And this was for waterproof Bluetooth earbuds. That sounds like a good idea. That's something I might click on at a different time, but I'm not trying to mess up my own experiment here. Johnston Town man charged with assault after disagreement over beer cozy. And he looks exactly like the type of person that would be charged with assault about a beer cozy. And then we have a Cadillac here. Ooh, and here's an advertisement for Enzo silicone rings. Those are intimate silicone rings for, no, these are for your finger, okay? Silicone rings for your finger. You'd have to have a Twizzler size intimate device to use those for anything else but your finger. And this says free delivery of what? Martella's Pharmacy. Okay, so I guess we can go ahead and talk about our product category now. So I'll go ahead and um, close the browser and then we'll talk about dental hygiene products, okay? Because I am in the mood for some there's an airplane passing overhead. I am in the mood for some new toothpaste. I've been using Colgate for years, and I maybe I'm thinking about some Aquafresh Fresh or Crest or Arm & Hammer toothpaste. That's all good stuff. And I need a new toothbrush too, and I don't know what to get anymore. I'm tired of this Oral-B stuff. Every morning I get in the shower and start brushing my teeth and the little bristles coming out. Is that weird that I brush my teeth in the shower? Does anybody else do that? Let me know down in the comments, please, if I'm, if I'm the only one that brushes in, in the shower. Anyway, so... Um, Back to dental hygiene products, I need floss, I need Listerine mouthwash, I need scope, and I need, like when it comes to mouthwash, I want a whole gallon of it. I don't want a teeny travel size one, I want a giant jug of mouthwash, okay? Listerine and scope is in Crest, those are all good brands, I think. I would choose any of those, I just need a lot of it. Floss, same thing, I want 25 feet of floss in each plastic cartridge. None of that 
none of that one foot of spooled floss there that, that runs out after two days, okay? And uh, yeah, a toothbrush. I'm in business for a new toothbrush. Maybe I should get one of those vibrating ones. I need a vibrator in my mouth, okay? I'm gonna get ads for a vibrators now. Um, but yeah, I like a nice firm toothbrush, firm bristles. You, you, did you know that they come in three different si uh, uh, densities? You can get soft and you can get medium and you can get hard. Well, I like a hard toothbrush. <laughs> I think that that's plenty. Let's just say it all one more time. Toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, and, 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 and mouthwash. And now let's go back to fark.com and we will see what advertisements pop up now. Okay. So we'll open up the same websites. I don't think I opened that one. Daily Mail. I think I opened that one. Did I open that one? I definitely opened Boing Boing. Okay, so I think that's that's plenty. Let's go ahead and see what we find. Here we have Showtime ad again and a progressive ad and Dish network ad, okay? And then some shower heads. Next website. The Sun, uh, Squarespace advertisement and uh, Cabin Grew Ryanair flight. Okay, so that's enough of there. Squarespace, we saw there. Nothing like what we have on our piece of paper. I'm not interested. Here we have nothing, nothing, nothing. Wait. Uh, showerhead, okay. Oh, and start your engines. No, that's just for the daily news. Okay, so nothing here either. Vindy Jobs and Vindy Homes again, okay. Daily Mail. I, you know what? Advertisements didn't even pop up for this one last time. So it's possible that these were here last time as well. Uh, but nothing to do with dental hygiene products. And let's see, Captain Crunch cereal. And that's what we found last time, I believe. Nothing else. And let's see, uh, America's Funniest Home Videos, Consumable Exchange, and Tactical Bag. And what is this? Ooh, this could be mouthwash. Nope, it's an ice drink of some kind. It's a drink called ice. And boingboing.com. Digital trends, same advertisement here, and then uh, some shower advertisements. Ooh, and a desk, get like a desk chair. Now I kinda wanna check these Bluetooth earbuds out, but maybe I'll do that later. Um, so again, this was another, another failure of a video. We didn't find any advertisements for dental hygiene products, unfortunately. But uh, maybe I missed something. Uh, I did this video pretty quick. And so let me know down in the comments if I missed something. Thanks everybody for watching. If you liked this video, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. And as always, please subscribe.